Hey, what's up guys, Adva here and we have got an official introduction of Android M. Now, Android M isn't a big update like Android Lollipop was, but in fact, it's kind of a more refined and a more polished version of Android. It tries to add stability to Android, performance improvements here and there. There are lots of tips and tricks up its sleeve. So, in this video, we are going to look at my initial impressions of Android M. Number one, app permissions get less intimidating. So right now, if you are buying any app from the Google Play Store, you are asked a lot of permissions while downloading it and well, you are left with no other options than to accept them. But with Android M, this is changing. So it doesn't ask for any permissions while buying or purchasing any app but later on you can change the settings so you can allow the facebook messenger not to use your camera app and similarly you can allow your whatsapp app to use your microphone so this is definitely a welcome move number two chrome custom tabs so suppose you are in any app and there is a url link and you click on it so your browser opens up and displays the web page so this is changing with Android M. So if you are in any app and you click on a link, it opens up within the app using the new concept called in-app Chrome window. So this opens up within the app and it is also fast in performance because it auto-fills some kinds of information like your passwords. So this is pretty neat. Number three, better battery life and support for USB type C port. So you are sleeping at night and you don't want your phone to eat up your battery life. Now this is changing with Android M. So there's a new technology called Doze. So Android M detects when the phone is in idle state. If the data from the accelerometer, gyroscope and all the motion sensors is basically zero. Then it reduces all the background data and some performance to increase your battery life as well as double your standby mode time. Another cool feature is the support for USB type C port, which is currently the hottest trend in the market. This also means that the next Nexus device will probably have a USB type C port. Number four, now on tap. Now this is the craziest thing in Android M. So suppose your friend messages you asking, should we go for a movie? And if you long press on your home button, all kind of relevant information comes up like the movie name, its reviews, its cast, and this information is in the form of Google Cards. So you can also set up a reminder or you can also book your show. So you don't have to open up a separate window for checking out the director of the film. All that comes up from the Google Cards just by pressing your home button. So this is pretty neat, it's pretty dope. Right now, its scope is pretty limited, but over time, we can see more functionality added to now on tap with more releases and more developer previews coming soon. Number five, offline maps and Chrome for developing countries. So Google has developed this feature specially for countries with slow internet. So suppose you are loading any web page with a 2G connection, it opens up really slow. So Chrome identifies this problem and it tries to load the web page with less images so that it opens up fast. Another cool feature is that maps are now available in offline mode. So even if you don't have an internet connection with you or your phone is in flight mode, Google Maps will still show you directions and even voice navigation control. So that's great. There are lots of other features too like a completely redesigned new Google Photos app and support for Android Pay, but it is also available for devices with Android Lollipop and KitKat. Also, there are tons of other new improvements and new additions here and there in Android M. So to check that out, you can go and download the developer preview for Android M on your Nexus devices. So that's going to do for me in this video. Feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this coming up. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll be back pretty soon with a new one. Until then, have a great day.